Hi, my name is Nate Kane, and I work for Cordova Electric Cooperative here in Cordova. For the past couple of years, we have been working on a battery energy storage system, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that today, talk about uh, why we've been working on it, and uh, where we are in the project, and uh, what it's doing for the members of CEC. In uh, about 2017, we started a project with uh, Alaska Center for Energy and Power. They took uh, quite a bit of our data, a good data set of our uh, operational and uh, electric characteristics on the grid over a year's worth of time, and they uh, analyzed it to look for um, basically anywhere we were wasting water at our Power Creek hydroelectric plant. Um, they found a spot uh, that uh, we basically, due to our operation, we have to waste water. Uh, found that we had um, an excess amount of water and found that there was a way that we could get uh, basically more production, uh, a better hydro percentage per year um, out of the water resource that we had. Working off of that report that the Alaska Center for Energy and Power did, um, we started working with Sandia National Labs to find a technology that would help us uh, bridge that gap between diesel and hydro. The Technologies that can do that are flywheels. Um, uh, of course, diesel engines will uh, back up a hydro, but we already have those, and those are uh, that's what we're trying not to run. Uh, so, flywheels, uh, supercapacitors, and uh, our choice was uh, a battery bank. We chose that in uh, 2018 and started the ordering process. 2019, it was ordered and uh, procured in uh, Cordova in May and we started commissioning then, uh, end of May, and then on June 7th, we had it operational here um, on the Cordova grid. Since then, since June 7th, we have tweaked it and um, uh, made it fully operational with our automation scheme and uh, integrated in it into our system to work as we see it should. Uh, so over Thanksgiving, um, it was about the first time we had it uh, running all by itself autonomously and it saved in the range of $10,000 in about two days. So that's a pretty good return uh, so far and uh, we can, we'll can talk more about how we got there and, and uh, what it takes to do that. Okay, let's talk about spinning reserve. Spinning reserve is extra generation capacity that we have to maintain at all times on CEC's electrical grid to compensate for uh, power fluctuations like when you turn your lights on and off or a large load starts at one of our canneries or something like that. If we take this as representation of CEC's load, system load is 500 kilowatts. Uh, we always need to maintain an extra 500 kilowatts available to accommodate for those fluctuations in power. With a diesel, it's fast. If you have a diesel online, it can pick that load up at any time when it's online. Uh, hydro is a little bit different than that. We still have our saved 500 kilowatts of town load, but to maintain this uh, extra 500 for when you need to turn your lights on, to get instantaneous response, we have to take and deflect or divert an extra 500 kilowatts. So basically what we're doing is we are wasting, if you will, an extra 500 kilowatts of water to maintain our 500 kilowatts of spinning reserve when we're making electricity in Cordova solely with hydro. What the battery does for us is it comes in here and replaces this because it's a fast acting machine and it becomes the extra 500 kilowatts of water that we are deflecting. And then we can take this 500 kilowatts that we were, were using for reserve at Power Creek of hydro, and it all becomes uh, hydro that we can generate onto the system. Basically, what the battery does is it buys us an extra 500 to one megawatt of hydroelectricity out of our Power Creek plant. Now I'd like to show you an example of uh, the battery system working in the way we were just talking about. Uh, here on this screen, you can see uh, we've got about a two-day representation. This is uh, actual system operation over Thanksgiving. The top line here is water level at Power Creek. 
The middle line, the blue one here, is battery output in kilowatts. The bottom one is uh, diesel output in kilowatts. When the uh, red line is up kind of in this uh, top area and it's bouncy, we have lots of extra water. We're 100% hydro right here. We had lots and lots of water, full hydro, no diesel on. The water dropped down and we started a diesel to provide spinning reserve. Uh, the operator saw that and decided we had automated the battery enough, we felt comfortable with it. We put it in automatic, basically for a test mode, and left it on. When we put it in auto, it took over as spinning reserve, shut the diesel off, and then we were back to Power Creek running with just enough water and the battery on as spinning reserve. We ran from here to here uh, with the battery on as spinning reserve and just the, the hydro, we were 100% hydro for about 30 hours or so. Uh, water dropped off enough to where we had to start the diesel a couple times uh, over uh, at, towards the end of the dry spell. And uh, at this point, basically the storm started back up again. It started raining again and the water continued up. We shut the diesel off uh, for good. Battery was providing spinning reserve. And then as the water came up, it got enough to provide its own spinning. We had extra water basically. So we shut the battery off over here. We went back to 100% hydro with only the hydro on. In the past, we would have started the diesel here just like we did, and we would have run it all the way to here at a cost of about $300 per hour. With the battery, we started the diesel over here and we shut the diesel off and only ran in this whole 40 hours, about eight hours of diesel runtime. It's a substantial savings. It's a, it's a substantial reduction in diesel runtime. That equals a lot of money saved by CEC members. You may have noticed uh, in the last demonstration that there was times when the battery was offline completely. We weren't using it at all. There are other options, other uses for this battery. Some of them include uh, UPS. We can use it to battery backup critical loads. Uh, say the hospital uh, is having a power interruption from some event on our system. We can use the battery to um, keep the power on at the hospital with, with no service interruptions uh, for uh, quite a length of time. If we have an outage uh, on our system, we can use the battery to support our generator. Say, say we've got a generator that overheats or, or has a, a failure of some kind. Uh, we can use the battery to support small pieces of the town while we bring another generator online to uh, uh, get the outage uh, uh, back under control. We can also use it for uh, generator support. Sometimes we might have a generator that's close to its peak capacity, and instead of starting a whole nother diesel generator or a whole nother hydro generator for just a short period of time, we could uh, bust the battery and assist that generator. In the same, almost the same kind of uh, way, we could use it for peak shaving. If you've got a, a large peak in the afternoon, say businesses are doing a lot of business uh, or, or the canneries are, are processing a lot of fish, and we don't have quite enough hydro to match it, we could put the battery on for a little bit of time in the afternoon and then charge it back up when the load goes down at night. Uh, basically taking kilowatts that, uh, uh, taking hydro that was generated during the night and then moving them it to the afternoon. Uh, just a few things that we could also do with this battery other than its prime uh, use for saving diesel. My name is Clay Copeland. I'm the CEO of Cordova Electric Cooperative. I want to thank you for watching this video. Cordova Electric Cooperative is a small electric utility that provides service to the fishing community of Cordova, Alaska. We're not connected by road system or by electric lines to other communities, so we're a, a remote microgrid utility. And this battery energy storage system is our most recent step towards getting completely off of fossil fuel uh, generation for our local electrical needs. We've been as much as 78% renewable uh, for the year in the past and we hope that this project will take us to about 85% renewable. Uh, more importantly, it provides the tools and, and the handshaking with other technologies like solar, wind, uh, more stored hydro, uh, or hydrokinetic technologies to get us completely off of fossil fuels. Uh, I want to acknowledge some of our project partners, particularly our project champion, Dr. Emery Juke of the Energy Storage uh, Division of the Department of Energy. He provided the resources for us to work with our Alaska Center for Energy and Power, Sandia, and Pacific Northwest National Laboratories uh, to do all the technical heavy lifting to help us uh, integrate this project into our system. 
I also want to thank the Cordova Electric Board of Directors for their support and uh, championship of this project. Uh, it's kind of a risky project for a small utility, but our choice of technology with the ABB inverter and the SAFT batteries uh, has worked out very well. And uh, we thank those companies for their technical support through this process as well. And finally, I want to thank the Cordova Electric Cooperative employees and our engineering firm, um, Electric Power Systems, uh, who did the automation and, and engineering design work for this project, helped us with the installation of the wiring and the controls and the equipment uh, that wraps around this battery energy storage system. And uh, just last week, really got the final tuning done. So we have this system fully automated now. Uh, over the Thanksgiving holiday, it saved us over $10,000 in operating cost over two days. And we hope that going forward, we'll save tens of thousands of gallons of diesel fuel every year and over $100,000 of operating costs. Uh, so we're really looking forward to uh, putting this system through the paces. Um, again, I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, and here in December, as we uh, look towards Christmas next week, I want to wish all of you a happy holidays and a, a safe holiday season. Thank you.